Welcome everybody! I'm Deidre, this is Darius, and we are Night's Treks. We're here at Cabana Bay at Universal Orlando Resort. We just stayed a few days here using the annual pass holder rates. Fantastic stay. We're going to give you a tour Love around it. the resorts, tell you why we're going to stay here again, our favorite things, mm -hmm. and why we can't wait to come back. Right. We stayed it and we love it. And we love it. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> All right, let's get started. We're gonna start with the front here, take you inside the lobby, show you how beautiful it is, and take it from there. Let's do it. Take it away, Eddie. I don't know who Eddie is. Take it away, Eddie. I don't even know what this is. All right, here's the front. Right there is the lobby. Right here is Bayliner Diner. Turn a little bit more to the left. These are the bus stops. These buses are gonna take you to the City Walk security so that you can go to either Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure. All right, now we're on the left side of the resort. Right that way is the bus stops, Bayliner Diner. There's Aventura. There's the parking garage for this side of the resort. And if you go this way towards the Bayside Tower, you're gonna find your entrance to Volcano Bay. Your room key is required though. Let me show you what it looks like. There's the road that goes underneath Bayside Tower. And there you go, it's right here. Alright, you do go through security here. Metal detectors, x-rays, no weapons, no illegal items. The Volcano Bay is right there. And you do get priority entrance to Volcano Bay because you're staying at Cabana Bay 30 minutes early. Check with the front desk though. I've heard sometimes that changes, but 30 minutes early is usually the norm. Ooh, I love this lobby. All right, before we go into the lobby, we found some cool cars. I love it. <laughs> you see this? I love it. <laughs> that one is flat. <laughs> oh, that has a flat tire, but it's still pretty. It said, please do not touch, so do not touch oh, the cars. Don't touch the cars, okay, okay, Well, okay. it says this one, don't touch. I mean, it's rusty anyway, so. It's a, little, yeah. it's a little crusty. It's a little crusty. That's cool, it's still a cool car. We've been watching TikTok with the dog, where he's like, you see this outfit? I love it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I promise you we're not making fun of anybody. We've just been watching way too many TikToks, okay? Way too many. Way too many. <laughs> Go over there to do your check-in or check out if you have something to pick up from the front desk. All right there's your car rental, Avis car rental. Avis. Over there is your ticket counter, gift shop, swizzle lounge bar, and let's head out this way. Show you what's over here. Okay, you are here. This is the cabana courtyard. This is the pool that has the slide. There's also the atomic tonic bar and the atomic grill. This whole area is closed Monday through Thursday. If you want this pool, um, you're only gonna get it right now on the weekends. Mm -hmm. So plan accordingly. And also, if you get one of these rooms thinking that you're just gonna hop in the pool, make sure you know which pool you're at um, if you request a, a pool view you know mm -hmm. make sure it's the one with the lazy river that's open every day so i don't know when they're going to change this to be open every day maybe around the holidays but it is a heated pool um, there is a water slide there's a hot tub so at night all of these signs up top light up on top of the buildings and it kind of reminds me of art of animation over at disney over there that little ramp right there will take you all the way up to the second floor right above the lobby right above Swizzle Lounge so if you need to get up to the top floor where bowling is or the fitness studio you can just take that ramp right up from your hotel room over here remember when like in in the movie cars 
where they put on the lights where I guess it was back in this heyday and they turned on a neon sign and all that and yes. the song like life would be dream yeah that's what that reminded me of when these come on at night with a little neon light so yeah this is a 50s and 60s themed resort mm -hmm. and you can feel it you're immersed completely I love it <laughs> let's go back in the lobby and take a look at the Swizzle Lounge so it's a very open bar Got tables, booths. What what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> right now it's the horror icons bar. So they have it decorated for that. But normally it's just a 50s and 60s themed swizzle lounge bar. Alright, I apologize for the lighting. I don't know why it's doing the bloop 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 thing, but this is the gift shop. You're gonna have a mod podge of hodgepodge of just everything in here. Minions, Harry Potter, Universal. These mugs are really cool, but they feel really gross. They're just not that smooth. Oh, that's, that's a scratchy towel. I do not like that. Mm -mm. When you pop out the other side of the gift shop, and it's a Starbucks. This is uh, Adarius's favorite part of the resort right here. Yes, it is. I can it twice so far I came here this morning. No, not this morning. <laughs> oh, are once you sure? You just sold on yourself. Today. Yeah. You just sold on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Staircase up to the Galaxy Bowl. Just put random cushions so that way you want to sit down. Oh, yeah. Like it's not hard yeah, on your butt. It's, it's a good... <laughs> if you're wondering what Darius is holding, we bought this yesterday and shipped it to our resort using that cool feature that you can use if you stay on property. And they took very good care of it. Yeah. And we oh. just picked it up from luggage services. So it's in great shape. It's a great feature. I got a very good grip on this. Like if you don't know how I'm holding it. It's <laughs> magic. It's magic. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next is the Bayliner Diner. So right now is breakfast. And they have six different, seven different areas really. Mm -hmm. They have seven different areas. You got your, well, maybe seven, eight. Okay. Over Nine, here ten. is natural foods and dietary options like gluten-free. Pastries, s'mores, stuff, grab-and-go like sushi. You can get your um, refillable souvenir cups. It, it comes with a kit. Oh, the kit? It comes with a kit yeah. for your s'mores. s'mores. And then you buy or some s'more sticks. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're probably thinking, well, that's a weird thing. Why would you need that? And we'll show you in a few minutes. Right. We've got all kinds of breakfast stuff. French toast, pancakes, waffles, bacon, sausage, meatless vegetarian patties. Breakfast wraps, yogurt parfaits. And of course, you know, juices, sodas, milks, apples, applesauce, and cereal. Oh, I didn't even see this yesterday. What is this? What? Mini melts? Is that like Dippin' Dots? Oh, and ice cream. I didn't even see these ice cream bars. I got all kinds of good stuff. All right, once you pop out of the registers, there's a humongous cafeteria-like seating. I mean, this place is just huge. And then in each of the four corners, you've got your freestyle machines, Coke machines, coffee, water. Tray return is in the middle. It's just huge and big and open. We could just like sit in a booth. Yeah, just take a nap. Take a nap. <laughs> Literally. It's just got like that ambient noise. It's soothing. And then you've got the TVs going and the 50s and 60s music. It's not as loud. It's not loud. It's just like... <laughs> right, right. You got like the old cartoons on. Mm -hmm. So is this some of the old commercials they've shown? I've seen Pop Tarts, um, Tricks, the silly rabbit tricks are for kids. Gumby, Gumby, um, NBC of course, uh, Universal of course. And as far as the food goes, so we've had breakfast and their dinner food here. Um, the breakfast food, the grits and French toast were better than Hard Rock sad to say but yes it is it is I uh, they're tied I, I like them both <laughs> here there's no buffet it's just 
the grab and go cafeteria style, but mm. it's fresh. It's made to order. They're gonna mm. make your omelet. They're gonna make your burger. Oh, that um, burger was good. That burger was good last night. They're gonna make your pizza, and you can also get pizza delivered to your room here. Up to I think it's till 8 p.m. But oh. check the time for sure. So. I forgot. I yeah. Forgot to do that. <laughs> yeah. So there's no room service. It's just pizza. It's just this grab and go, or you've got Starbucks. Um, you've got the pool bars that have the grill, and you also have the bowling alley. So that's kind of a sit down, but we'll go. Yeah, we'll go up there in a little bit and show you. But this 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 is really a cool area. All right, we're gonna head up there. If you see the balcony, we're gonna head up there and show you what's up there. Now we are up above the Bayliner Diner area. This is the Fun in the Sun Rec Center. They turn this into all kinds of things, but right now it is the jacked up experience. You can only get into this if you are staying at a Universal Hotel. And if you're staying at Cabana Bay, you get priority access. Opens at like 2 p.m. and yeah. goes all the way to 10. So. Um, well, they did say that sometimes they'll cut the line off around 9.45. Yeah. Just so that way they can get, make sure everyone can go through at 10 o'clock. Right, right. All right, round in the corner here. This is still the jacked up experience. It's actually two really big rooms. And then you've got the game of rama You went in there, was it cool? Oh yeah, it was cool. <laughs> uh, parents, I would say don't give your kids the uh, room charge number. Oh, or no. Don't give your kids all the money. Because oh, no. <laughs> that's where all your money's gonna go. <laughs> Next up is Galaxy Bowl. They've got a few lanes in here. You have to make a reservation. Um, people start lining up around 2, 2.30. It's $13 per person, and they get you 45 minutes and your shoe rental. Bring some socks, save that sock fee, bring your own socks. And then starting at 5 p.m., you can go ahead and get something to eat. Well, they have a sample platter, some wings, burger, your basic bowling food. All right, right next to Galaxy Bowl is the Jack Lane Physical Fitness Studio. It's open from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. All right, so there's people in there, so we're not gonna take you in there. We're gonna respect their privacy. Um, but they have ellipticals, treadmill, um, some free weights, a few machines for assisted weightlifting, uh, balance balls, weight balls, big, huge open area to do some yoga or jump rope. Um, it, it was actually a pretty nice fitness studio. Right. So, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I saw those treadmills and I was like, ooh, and I went right past it. <laughs> <laughs> so we did so much walking. We don't need that treadmill. Right. I looked. We just at need the it free weights. Just, it's I, I, yeah. That was not in this memory when I was looking in there. Right next to the fitness studio. If you look over this ledge, this is gonna be the front entrance with the lobby again. And then if you keep going down this hallway by the fitness studio, those doors right there will take you to that bridge down to the pool, the one that's closed Monday through Thursday. That bridge that I showed you that take you up to the second floor. That's that bridge. This whole resort is just so gosh darn themed with the circle, with, with the globe lights and the circles everywhere and all of the, there's just curves everywhere. But then you've got like diamonds. It's like the circles with the diamonds and they're all just contradicting each other, but they go together so well. Baylander Diner area. I'm gonna take you out these doors right here to this bridge for this pool. If you look over this railing, you'll see the fire pit we were talking about. There's a seating area over there to eat your breakfast at. There's all these really cool couches all over the resort too. You can just take a nap anywhere. Yeah, those fire pits that we're talking about, we thought that, you know, we would have to pay for it or no. something get turned off. No. You just go over there, you turn it on. I think it's a 15 minute timer. You push the red button and it slowly comes on. And then you can take your s'mores kit and just sit around and make some s'mores. Just chill. Chill out. <laughs> chill out, man. Chill out. <laughs> All right, this is Hideaway Pool. Open every day, 9 a.m. to 10 p.m., weather permitting. There's a lot of 
sandy areas with lots of sunbathing opportunities. Got the zero entry pool where the ducks are hanging out right now. The pool just opened. There's nobody here yet. All right, see you later, ducks. And then the best part about this pool is the Lazy River. Right over here. It's got the Lazy River. They said it opens at 12. You can rent tubes from the tube shack and they'll blow them up for you. Got really cool restrooms and a pretty big pool. Then this is the hideaway bar and then the hideaway grill. That looks like a good area for a little nap, nappy nap. Right. Oh yeah, this place will be hopping at night. Got your bar over there, your food window over here. Here's your hot tub. There's somebody in there finally. <laughs> finally. Every time we've been here, there's been like 25 people in there. They've also got this really cool area with ping pong and Connect Four, but it's giant, giant Connect Four. On either side of the pool are towers. And this tower is our tower. Beachside, building eight. So each building looks over Volcano Bay. You can see the big, huge Turtle Moana slide over there. And they each have their own parking garage too. Yay! Yay, parking garage! Stay out of the sun! Each of these big, tall towers have a road that runs right underneath of them. Yeah, that's the road. That's how you get back here. That's so crazy. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take you up and show you our room. Full disclosure, we did this as soon as we got here a couple days ago because mm. we didn't want you guys to see our messy hotel room after we've already slept in the beds and right. <laughs> jumped on the bed. And... Yeah, we're being big kids. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, so take you back in time to show you the cool room <laughs> and then we'll see you up there for uh, what we thought of it, what our favorite parts were, and why we will definitely be back. here to check out the hotel room. Alright, alright, how are we starting? <laughs> Let's start at the beginning with the closet. That's a dollar time. <laughs> <laughs> really actually good sized closet. It fit my suitcase and my extra bag. Bunch of room for shoes. Got all of our date clothes hung up here. There's also a safe and you know the iron ironing board. Oh, why is it doing that? It's like blah, 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 blah. Okay, but it's a really cool mirror. <laughs> really cool sink. Um, storage underneath. And then you've got two drawers also. Really big shower. And it's really cool retro with the blue tile. Of course, you've got your clothesline there. Pulled across. This is actually a really big space. Like... I'm loving the beds. I can tell. See how that one's messed up already? You tested that one. Was that one good? Yeah, that was real good. Okay, and, and now you're going to test this one? This is my, like, my personal networking spot. You know, napping? Like, yeah, napping, networking. Gotcha. Oh, and, 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 and. I love these lights. Oh, there's one for the top? Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. And then there's one for the bottom. <laughs> so, if you want to read, here you go. You right. got a big light in your face. And then if you just want some mood light, nice. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, we actually found some water. So, somebody left water by the elevator along with like strawberry lemonade, some ginger ale, and pool floaties. And we didn't need pool floaties. We got our rings for the Lazy River. Um, we don't really drink soda, but we did take advantage of that water. So, if that was you, thank you. <laughs> because, let me, let me just show you the fridge. These are our plans. For the birthday celebration. We each have our own bottle of margarita, so. <laughs> <laughs> and we could fit more in there too. This is a good size fridge. It's a dorm size, so. Big old TV. Not a Keurig, but one of the Cuisinart things, just like the single serving little circle disc things. Lots of plugins. I've already utilized two for my phone and watch charger. And then there's an extra one too. And more plugins over here. And you have two USBs. Nice table here, and I love that they gave us extra. <laughs> Wait, are these ice bags? What is this? 
I think these are garbage bags for wet clothes. Wow. Yeah, this is a beachy resort and they're like, we already know. We already know what's up. <laughs> I love the retro chairs. The whole color scheme is awesome. Really cool tufted pleather. And it's all like teal, orange, lime green with the cool art. And then the best thing of all, this view. Man, this is a great view. Just take a moment to appreciate this view. See everybody over there having fun. And having fun without me? Go down a slide for me. All right, what did you think? I love this place. Wait, I wasn't talking to you. What did you think? Oh, well, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that you've typed your response down below, what did you think? Oh, now it's me. Okay, all right. Well, I love this place, okay? <laughs> I love it too. Let me tell you something. Um, the eating area downstairs, I love it, okay? Um, jacked up experience, I love it. Starbucks, love it. Love it, love it, I love it, love it, I love it. The fire pit, love it, because when we come back, I definitely want to do that. Just, just give me a hit. I mean, we still have the rest of the day to use the facilities here at Cabana Bay. I regret not doing the s'mores, for sure. Okay, by the time we got done in the parks, it was either raining or mm. lightning. Right. So... By the way, you're getting kicked out of the right. pool area. <laughs> right. They had to clear the pool deck. Um, we didn't get to get in the lazy river because of all the lightning. Right. So that's something I want to come back and do for sure. Right. And the early access to Volcano Bay. Oh, it's a teaser. It's a teaser. We've got to, I think we're going to upgrade our passes to the three park. Right. That way we can just go experience Volcano Bay. We've never been before. Right. I mean, and there, there may be a time like, yo, let's, I want to go get in the water today. And we just be like, hey, let's go. Let's pop on over to Volcano Bay. Right. Just for a couple hours. <laughs> the view is phenomenal. So we are in the towers with the Volcano Bay view. Um, we used the annual pass holder rate, which was better than the Florida resident, and it was even better than our travel agent discount that we get. So if you're an annual pass holder, look into the annual pass holder rates this time of year in the fall. They do UOAP appreciation days, and I can tell that they appreciate me. They appreciate the heck out of us. They appreciate the heck out of us. Because <laughs> <laughs> this was such a good trip. It really was. Uh, food was good ambiance was good you felt transported back to a time when balls and diamonds went together mm, super plus we checked in early we weren't even expecting to check in early so we <laughs> did we parked in that overflow parking we drug our luggage to the front because we were like okay we're gonna leave them with bell services and we're gonna hit the parks and we got there about i think it was 11 30. we were fully expecting to just get a text later in the day saying our room was ready we checked in and our room was ready they're like, yeah, we got you on the fifth floor right now. So I was like, okay, great. I mean, as long as we got a view of this volcano, which is great. Yeah, our requests <laughs> were a high floor and then we paid for the Volcano Bay view. I will say that there's a road that goes underneath of the buildings here. We are high enough up that we don't hear just random cars passing underneath of us. However, right on the other side of the building, right next to Vol Volcano Bay here, there is um, a service road where they take like supplies back and forth to Volcano Bay with, with the towels and you know all the concession stand stuff. Yeah. We did hear those trucks. I mean, so that's a, kind of a con, but still, it's a price to pay for a cool view. Right. <laughs> so we heard those trucks. We heard the big forklifts for when they um, cut the trees and stuff. I woke up this morning around six and I heard the leaf blowers going. So you might end up hearing that Going, go, going on in the Volcano Bay area. Yes, yeah, so definitely get this room. Definitely do. But the right. cons are you can hear the leaf blowers, you can hear the people working on Volcano Bay, and the Volcano Bay music, the tiki music. Um, it sounds really cool, but it does turn on between 7.10 and 7.20 every morning. Mm -hmm. And if you're a light sleeper, you're going to hear it through the windows.
big bonus anyways i would say is you can see the epcot fireworks at night from here last night we were it sitting here and of course the view is amazing at night but we looked over that way to our right <laughs> yeah and there was just some really cool fireworks and we thought it was either hollywood studios or epcot and then we woke up this morning and looked really hard and it's the epcot ball so it was kind of yeah. cool what didn't we like one thing i didn't like is or i don't like is the fact that you have to pay to get a float to go down lazy river i mean but i mean that's you don't this. have to pay though you can bring your own float yeah we could but it would be nice to have that kind of Oh, like at Volcano Bay where you can just pick up a tube and go? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that would that'd be nice. But, hey, I mean, I understand. That's, that's something they already had in place. So. Right. <laughs> that's really about I, I, it. I have a con. I mean. I'm trying to think. I don't, I can't think of anything I didn't like. I guess the only, it's not that I don't like it. Things that would make this place better is if there was maybe a sit-down restaurant, like a tiki-themed sit-down restaurant. But I feel like that's more for like a Royal Pacific that's more of an upgraded. True. If you want that, go to Royal Pacific. Um, and also maybe some room service. I'm actually kind of shocked that they didn't kind of like take that into consideration with the whole Volcano Bay and Royal Pacific. Cause well, I feel like in the 50s and 60s, TV dinners were just starting to become a thing. So the fact that you go get your food and you sit down in front of a TV, no matter where you're at in that big Bayliner diner seating area, there's a TV in front of you. So I feel like that's what they were going for, is everybody's getting a TV oh, dinner. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Your number one favorite thing about this resort? Honestly, I... Okay, I was going to say food, but aside from the food, this view. I really love this view. That's my number one thing, too. Yeah. You're not very close to the parks, though. But the bus ride is only maybe 10 minutes, and the buses run every 5 to 10 minutes. Right. If you want to walk, you can. You just walk to Aventura, then to Sapphire Falls, then past it. Royal Pacific, <laughs> then to City Walk. It's about a 20 minute walk. It's, it's I would suggest it. <laughs> some popular questions that we get is, okay, I paid for parking at my resort, so I get free parking at the park too, right? Like over at Disney? And the answer is no. At Universal, you pay for parking at your resort and at the theme parks. Just take the bus. And that bus sounded real good right it about now, isn't real it? real yeah. good. <laughs> On Halloween Horror Nights, they will run the buses very late, and mm. Bayliner Diner will be open very late, too. I think it was on Sunday, they were open until 2 a.m. Mm. So you could go in there and just quick grab stuff like sandwiches, sushi, fruit, chips, stuff like that. The sleep. How was your sleep? How did you like the bed? It was soft. I mean, I didn't have to worry about her, me sinking her to my side of the bed. Really good. Yes. Yeah, I'd... but the pillows are gonna be those feathery down pillows that don't hold their shape. So mm -hmm. bring your own pillow if you like to sleep on your stomach. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with a pillow smooshed on both sides of your face. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> like I put my head on the pillows, like like flunk. <laughs> like I hello, am going, hello. I'm, I'm going to suffocate myself in the middle of the night. <laughs> if you're ready to book your trip out here to Cabana Bay, let us know. We're travel agents. We are partnered with Universal. Mm -hmm. And if you don't just tickets. For you or a whole group just let us know we can also purchase tickets for you as well yeah we can do mm -hmm. just tickets just hotel um packages uh annual pass holder packages right um and we're partnered with disney as well we are partnered with several cruise lines let us know where you want to go when you want to go we've got our email address below we've got a facebook group so you can message us or you can become part of our group right and we added our email address to our about so it should be on there as well and uh, we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you so much for trekking with us. And we'll see you real soon. Bye.